guys, I'm just going to show you something here. Um, I've got this crappy old Digitech meter here. I've had it for years. Um, and I was trying to get the lights not obliterating it. There you go. You can see it there, hopefully. Now, I thought we kind of a bit of a project here. No, it's still no good, is it? There you go. And I was using this meter here to test, thinking, well, why can't I measure an AC voltage here? Because there should be stacks of voltage. I'm going to test this like what's not working right, so I'll show you. Like, so this is here, that's the test point there, test point there, nothing there, right? No voltage, it's just showing nothing. And I should go to this one here, my siglant. What do I see here? 304 volts AC. So, you know, it's 304 volts because I'm playing with a step up system. So let's unplug that now. I've demonstrated that. But obviously, this meter here has finally met its day. Um, but it's thing for years. And you see, this display's got this bloody glue on it or something I've got on here. And um, it looks like it's finally had it. You can't have a meter which doesn't show you AC volts. Because you might measure AC and find out, oh shit, actually, no, it's actually on. By finding out the hard way. You certainly don't want that to happen. So, um, and then also, my battery is also looking quite flat. So maybe that's also related. So I might actually just pull that apart and roll it out first. So I'll sort of demonstrate that. You know, you can't always trust your meter. Um, sometimes it isn't actually right. I just change the battery first. Though. We'll do we'll do that before we do anything else. Just in case that's what's all that's wrong with it. Okay. But that's why you have to check with two meters if you're doing AC work. You know, as a risk of killing yourself, then. Use two meters, and this is why. Because I knew there must be voltage there, and this was saying it was safe to touch. And no, it really wasn't. If I can get the bloody thing out, it'd be great. So that takes a um, 9 volt battery. Right, hold on a second. I've got some there. I'm pretty sure I have. I don't know how well charged it is, but I've got one. No, it's not great, but it's a bit of one that was in it. So it's just, um, I'm going to put the back panel back on yet. I'm just going to test it and see what happens. Let's get those leaves back. Almost fill up a chair trying to reach for them. Right. Hope I can pop this up so you can see it again. Oh, I can't pop it up because the stand has fell off the back of it. Because that's convenient, isn't it? Right, well. Hopefully you can still see. Yeah, you kind of can, can't you? All right, let's plug this back in. So, so it should be 300 volts AC. Aha, uh -huh. now it's working. So, thing to watch out for. You know, if your battery is reading a bit low, maybe it's time to change it before the meter actually stops because in this case, the uh, it was actually hiding the fact there was AC voltage there. So I'm going to use this battery anyways. It's on its last leg, so I might as well use it up. But uh, there's a nice little gotcha there, isn't it? You know, you don't want to find that one out the hard way. So, I'll sort of show you that. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. Seems like it might have just saved your life. Bye.